Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Angler's Advantage time here at Atlantic Tackle in West Ocean City. We are directly on the Commercial Harbor. Ocean City Public Ramp is right down at the end of the street here. The Ocean City Inlet is behind you guys right now. And we have turned this way because it's real, real ugly that way today. Had a northeast blow for the past couple of days. By the time you guys are seeing this, it's all cleared up, but water may still be dirty in the, in the back in the back bay, so flounder fish is gonna be a little bit tough. What's one of the first things to come back after a blow? Rock fishing, blue fishing, shad in the Ocean City Inlet. Those should be no problem a couple of days after the water starts to clean up. Big Bird and I are having a great time doing it today. Here's the kind of stuff that you can get at Atlantic Tackle to put you on the fish as well. If you're going to be looking for blue fish, shad, small rock fish, a couple of your standbys are going to be gotcha plugs. You can throw these right into those schools of shad, breaking birds, and have good luck. What's the hot ticket right now? Spec rigs anywhere from an eighth of an ounce up to a half an ounce. Most of the time, we're gonna lean more toward a quarter ounce. That means that the rig itself is a half ounce total, just like the thingamajig. You can cast it out there, no problem. It's got two of them already rigged on there. You basically just tie that bad boy on there, start casting and retrieving, and you're gonna have some luck. <clears throat> One of the techniques that we're using today is called dredging, right? I think Big Bird gave it that name, and it's using like a 15 or 20 foot drop. It gets down there toward the bottom of the bay around those deeper spots in the Route 50 bridge and the channels and catching rockfish. Big Bird catches some big, big bluefish that way too. Atlantic Tackle has the X wrap that you can do that with. This is a 20 foot diver. These things are not inexpensive, guys, all right? You're gonna be anywhere between $15 and $25, depending on which one you get. They make less expensive versions, but these things are bulletproof. Um, you're, not gonna, you're not gonna get them back if you snag them on the bottom of the bay, so make sure if you're gonna do that technique, you try and perfect it before you start using this expensive stuff, but very, very effective. We caught that one fish that was just under legal size. The very next day, Big Bird and Sean caught a keeper on these using that dredging technique. All the other stuff we're doing, cast retrieve. We're hitting the sandbar, north jetty, south jetty, just outside of the Ocean City Inlet, around the fishing pier, and especially the Route 50 bridge. These are gonna be really, really good this year. Savage Gear came out with these Savage Salt Lures. That looks like a fish, man. There's no two ways about it. That looks like a little mullet, and that's what it's called. It's called the Pulse Tail Mullet. Ask for it by name. They're right across from the main counter here at checkout at Atlantic Tackle. Comes in several different colors. All of them look like little fish, except the one, which is this chartreuse. And if it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use. You know that's gonna be a really, really good one. Savage Gear is making some really great products inshore and offshore. And this is the Savage Salt Pulse Tail Mullet. That's gonna be a good one at the Route 50 Bridge as well. What are we using? I'm using the thingamajig, man. I had several people at the Ocean City Marlin Club Flea Market ask me for these. Red, Candy Red is on fire right now, catching a ton of fish on this one. The white head glows, comes with two replacement shads in there. And specifically today, I'm using this one. I'm using the green head, that also glows. Comes with two replacement shads in the packaging. And here's the kicker. I had all of the different heads with me and all of the different tails, and I can come up with all sorts of different combinations. At one point, I had run out of the green tail here and I had the green head on, but I put one of the salt and pepper chartreuse on. Looks absolutely amazing and caught a bunch of fish on that. So if you get all three packs of them, you've got endless combinations of colors that you can try when conditions change. Dirty water, you're gonna wanna use something bright. Sometimes toward, toward dusk or toward dawn, you're gonna wanna use something that might glow in the dark. All of these combinations are gonna work for you. And if you fish over on the Chesapeake Bay, this green-headed one with those couple, that thing was killing speckled trout, which we're starting to catch a couple of in our back bays here in Ocean City. So come by here, Ocean City, in West Ocean City, right across the street from Sunset Grill, right down the street from Sunset Provisions and Sunset Marina, Atlantic Tackle all day long. Please tell them that we sent you, 410-213-0421. See you in a second.